Uh, good day. So today we are to discuss the uh, determinant of a uh, matrix. So the determinant of a matrix is a scalar quantity that can be uh, computed using the elements of a given square uh, matrix. So this is only for a square uh, matrix. So let's start with a 2 by 2 uh, matrix. So example we have a uh, matrix A uh, with the elements 1, uh, 2, this is uh, 5 then. Uh, six. So for a 2 by 2 matrix, okay, we can use the Laplace expansion or the Laplace factor expansion uh, first. So we have, okay, let us express the determinant of a uh, matrix A is the same as if we are to use okay, the determinant of matrix A using the absolute value sign. So this time we are to use co factor or the Laplace expansion. All we have to do is uh, choose a row or a, a column. Then let us choose their cofactors or uh, minors. So, for example, I'll be using uh, row number one. So, for cofactors, uh, don't forget the alternating signs positive, then uh, negative. So, the first element is equal to one. What is the cofactor of one? If you are to recall, all you have to do is delete the first row and first column. The remaining element will be uh, six. So this is, I will divide by 6. Then, if that is positive, the next one should be a negative. So what is the of, uh, minor of 2? If you are to cross out first row and second column, the remaining element is a 5. Then if you are to uh, compute, the determinant of matrix A is the same as 6 minus 10, that is negative uh, 4. So this is the concept of the Laplace expansion or the of factor expansion. So for 2 by 2 matrix, we can also perform the diagonal method or in some uh, references, uh, they are using the third basket with a uh, method. So we have matrix A okay, with the elements, this is 1, 2, 5, and 6. So we have the determinant of uh, matrix A is equal to, so there is uh, we have to get the product of the diagonal elements. This is for the downward to the right. Uh, our center dimension is positive. Upward to the right, the diagonal elements will be uh, negative. So that is the same as we have 1 multiplied by 6 minus we have 5 multiplied by uh, 2. So we'll be having the same answer. The determinant of matrix A is negative uh, 4. So take note that the basket with method or the diagonal method is only applicable for a 2 by 2 matrix and a 3 by 3 matrix. So let us try 3 by 3 matrix. And so this time, let's have a 3 by 3 uh, matrix. So this is a uh, matrix A and we have to compute for a uh, determinant. So we may choose again, we may choose a row or a column. So for example, we have to use uh, the first uh, row, then don't forget the signs, the alternating sign, uh, signs, we have positive, then I uh, negative, and then uh, positive. So I'll be using a uh, first uh, row. So this is the determinant of a uh, matrix A. We have 1. Uh, what is the minor of a uh, 1? The minor of 1, if you are to cross out first row and first column, the remaining elements will be 2, 1, then 1, uh, 4. And uh, then the next element is minus, this is a uh, 0. What is the minor of 0? We have the minor of 0, we have 4, 1, then this is 2, uh, 4. Then lastly we have plus, this is a 3, what is the minor of 3? And the minor of 3, the equator was of first row and third column, the remaining elements, we have 4, 2, then this is 2 by a 1. Then, I we uh, simplify, let us have the determinant of the 2 by 2 uh, matrices. This is the same as a 1 multiplied by 2 by 4 minus 1 by 1 then we may ignore this one since we have a multiplier 0 so this is a plus 0 or minus 0 plus a 3 this is multiplied by we have 4 by 1 
then minus 2 by uh, 2. Okay, then we uh, simplify. So this is the same as 1 multiplied by 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 1, this is uh, 7. 7. Minus 0 plus, this is 3 divided by, we have 4 by 1. Minus uh, 4, this is the same as uh, 0. So therefore, the determinant of matrix A is equal to positive uh, 7. So this will be our answer. Okay, so you see the same matrix, so this time, what, what if we are to use a column instead of a row? Uh, for example, I'll be using this time the first uh, column. So again, don't forget the alternating signs. So this is a plus, supposedly positive. Uh, this one is a negative and a positive. So we are to use a uh, first uh, column. So this is the determinant of uh, matrix A is our first element. This is a 1. And the minor of 1, we have 2, 1, 1, a 4. Then we have, this is minus 4. Minor of 4, we have, this is 0, 3. Then we have a 1 and a 1 and 4. Then we have the last one, this is a plus 2, a plus 2. We have plus 2, what is the minor of 2? A minor of 2 we have 0, 3, then 2, or 1. Then we simplify, we are to determine the determinant of each of the as square uh, 2 by 2 uh, matrix. So we have this the same as 1 multiplied by, we have 2 times 4. And this is 2 times 4 minus 1 by 1. Then minus a 4, this is uh, multiplied by 0 multiplied by 4 minus 1 by uh, 3 then plus this is 2 multiplied by 0 times 1 minus 2 times uh, 3 and then we uh, simplify this is equal to we have uh, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1 we have a uh, 7 negative 4 this is 0 negative 4 times negative 3 this will be a uh, positive at all. Then this is 2 times, this is 0, 2 times negative 6, that will be the same as negative at all. And we arrive with the same answer, this is positive 7, the determinant of matrix A. So again, you may use any row or any column of a given square matrix to determine the uh, determinant by uh, using Laplace expansion. So again, we have the same matrix. So this time we are to use the method. Or some references I call it as the basket weave uh, method. So basket weave method is applicable for uh, two by two and uh, three by three matrices only. All right. So basket weave is two for two by two and uh, three by three matrices only. Since we have a three by three matrix, so this is applicable. All right. But first. Okay, for the determinant of a matrix A, okay, we need to convert this 3 by 3 matrix into a 3 by 5 uh, matrix. So we are to copy first, we are to copy the original matrix. This is 1, 4, 2, uh, 0, 3, 2, 1, uh, 1, uh, 4. So from 3 by 3, okay, we need to convert this one into a 3 by 5 matrix. So how do we do that? We copy the first and second column. We have to rewrite the first and second column. So we have, I will have this line. Our first column is 1, 4, 2. Second column, we have 0, 2, and a 1. Then again, we are to get the product of the diagonal elements. So downward to the right will be positive. Then upward to the right will be a negative.
Okay, so let's have the determinant of matrix A. So this is the same as 1 multiplied by 2, then by 4, the product of the diagonal elements. Then we have plus a 0 multiplied by 1 multiplied by a 2. Then we have this is plus 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 1. So those are the downward to the right elements. So these are a positive. Now for the upward to the right, so this is minus I minus 2 times 2 times 3, which is minus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by a 1 minus we have 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by a 0. Then we uh, simplify. So this is the same as 2 times 4, we have 8. And this is a 0. A plus, we have a 12. 2 times 2 is a 4 times 3. That is negative a 12. Then minus 1 times 1 times 1. And this is the same as 0. Then we have now the determinant of a matrix A using the basket with method. This is A. Right, so this is a 0, 8 minus 1. Again, we have the answer as 7. Again, the basket with method is applicable only for a 2 by 2 matrix or a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's have another example, this time a 4 by 4 uh, matrix. So we may uh, combine our procedures, the Laplace expansion and the uh, basket wave method, since our sub matrices will be a 3 by 3 uh, matrix. Okay, so let us uh, first uh, choose a row or a column. So I'll be using, uh, let's say, I'll be using the first uh, column. So don't forget that the learning instance we have positive, negative, positive, then. Negative. Okay. So what is the determinant of a matrix A is equal to this is our first element that is a one. Okay, we have one. What is the minor of a one? The minor of one, if you are to delete the first row and the first column, the remaining elements will be four, a zero, four, one, two, two, then five, one, a three. Okay, the next, this will be a minus a zero. The minus of this, uh, the minor of this element, we have, if we are to cross out first column and second row, this is 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, then we have 5, a 1, 3. Okay, then we have this time, positive 2, this is a plus 2, the minor of 2. Cross out first column and third uh, row, the remaining elements will be 3, 1, 3, uh, 4, 0, 4, then we have 5, 1, uh, 3. And then we have a uh, minus again, a uh, 0. So the remaining elements, if we have cross out first column and the last uh, row, we have 3, 1, 3, 4, 0, 4, then 1, 2, uh, 2. So again, we may neglect this term since we have about zero a multiplier. So it is also one advice if you are to choose a row or a column for the Laplace expansion, just a row or column having a zeros just to uh, minimize your uh, solution. So we will be having the, the equivalent of, let's say this is now the determinant of a matrix A is equal to, this is a one, the minor of this element, we have 4, 0, 4, a 1, 2, 2, then 5, 1, a 3, then plus, we have 2, and the minor of this uh, element, we have 3, 1, 3, 4, 0, 4, and then 5, 1, a 3. So as you can see, we have a uh, 3 by 3 sub uh, matrices. So let us first determine the determinants of this uh, 3 by 3 uh, matrices. So let's say uh, this will be, um, uh, let us uh, determine the determinant of this uh, first sub matrix. So this time we are just to combine or we are just to use the basket with method. Uh, I convenient when it comes to 
3 by 3 matrix. So this is uh, 4, 0, 4, 1, 20, uh, 2, then 5, uh, 1, uh, 3. So this is for this uh, first sub matrix. So how do we do the basket method? We are to copy or rewrite the first column and the second column. So this is uh, 4, 1, 5. Then this is a 0, 2, 1. Okay, then we get the product of the diagonal elements. Okay, downward to the right will be positive. Then upward to the right will be a negative. So negative. Then this one will be a positive. So if we are to compute for those values, we have 4 times 2. I multiplied by 3 plus this is 0 multiplied by 2 by uh, 5 then we have a uh, plus uh, 4 times 1 times a uh, 1 then I uh, minus by the upward to the right this is a uh, 5 times 2 I multiplied by 4 then minus 1 times 2 times a uh, 1 multiplied by 2 times 4, then we have minus, we have 3 times 1, then multiply by uh, 0. So what will be this, uh, the equivalent of this uh, values? This is the same as 4 times 2 is 8 times 3, this is 24. This is uh, 0, and this is uh, 4. Then 5 times 2 is 10, times uh, 4 is negative 40. 1 times 2 times uh, 4, this is uh, minus 8, and this one is uh, 0. So minus uh, 0. So it will be the equivalent. This is 24 plus 4 is 28. 28 minus 14 is a uh, negative 12. Minus uh, 8 is, uh, this will be negative uh, 20. Which means the determinant of this 3 by 3 is a uh, negative 20. Okay, so 24. Plus 4 is 28, minus 40 is negative 12, minus 8 is negative 20. What about this one? Okay, so for this one we have, we have 3, 1, 3, 4, 0, 4, this is 5, 1, uh, 3. So again, we are to copy the first and second columns. So we have, this is 3, 1, 4, 0, then 5, uh, 1. Then applying the basket uh, method, so the diagonal elements downward to uh, the right will be positive. The diagonal elements upward to the right will be okay, negative. So we have this is 3 okay, multiplied by 0 multiplied by uh, 3 plus 1 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5 then plus we have 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by a 1. Then the negative, we have this is a 5 times 0 times a 3. Then minus 1 times a 4 a times 3. Then we have a minus 3 times a 4 multiplied by 1. So we have, this is now equal to 3 times 0 times 3, this is a 0, plus 4 times 5 is 20, 3 times 4 is a 12, minus 5 times 0 times 3 is a 0, minus 1 times 4 times 3 is a 12, minus a 12, 3 times 4 times 1 is a 12. So we have in 20 plus 12 is 32, minus 12 is 20, minus 12 is I mean, positive uh, 8. Is that correct? So we have 32 minus 24 is positive 8. So it means this is a uh, okay, positive uh, 8. So if we are not to compute for okay, the determinant of a uh, matrix A, this is now equal to 1 multiplied by negative 20 plus we have 2 multiplied by positive 8. The determinant will be equal to negative 20 plus 16 is negative uh, 4. So this will be our answer. I just combined the two methods. Okay, so the last expansion, then the basket method.